okay getting into the density heat map this is very similar to the heat map we saw in seaborn i it, i don't know which one i prefer more i use them kind of in different situations this allows us to kind of the same idea highlight when, when a value is high it's going to appear in a different color than when it's low a cool feature is about this heat map is it allows us to add a, either a histogram or um, a box plot to the margins and stuff. And this gives it a little bit of extra detail and really highlighting where the active, highlighting where the city is on fire, but really highlighting where the heat, where the activity is in our data, where the action is going on. And there's no reason that we couldn't put a correlation matrix into this. It gives us a little bit more freedom to explore different things with the univariate analysis on either side. So we can use this in, I would say, a lot different ways than we can use the correlation map in Seaborn, which is just most often used for our correlation matrix, uh, but can also be used for other things. This is a little bit more specialized, kind of getting away from the correlation matrix and really looking at the, uni the bivariate relationship and kind of highlighting where the activity is going on, generalizing things or putting things into the bucket. So, um, but a good way when you have lots of data to really understand what where's the data in, in my bivariate relationship.